Are you gaining weight or are you stuck on the weight loss plateau? And if you're stuck on the weight loss plateau, you're finding that despite all the efforts, you still can't lose weight. You're eating healthily, you're exercising, you're walking every day, you might even be doing your 10,000 steps and you're thinking, why isn't this working for me? Now, I want to tell you some of the reasons why women over 40 find that they're gaining weight and what you can do about it. If you haven't as yet, do subscribe here to my YouTube channel because this is where I'll be sharing with you tips or recipes or motivation so that you can get to your weight loss goals and maintain it because I know you want to look and feel good always. So the first reason many women find that they're stuck on the plateau is hormonal changes. What you did in your 20s or 30s isn't going to be working for you when you're in your 40s, 50s, 60s or even 70s and that's because of the changes in hormones. Naturally our estrogen and progesterone levels begin to decline, it's affecting um, even where the fat is distributed in our body we find that there's more belly fat around um, you know sort of this midsection and you finding it hard to wear the clothes that you've always worn and now you're having to wear those big baggy clothes that you don't want to be wearing. The second reason this often happens is slowdown in metabolism. As we age, another thing that happens is we're just losing muscle mass. So we find that we're burning less calories at rest and that's another reason why you are stuck at the weight loss plateau. The third reason is what you're eating. Now, what you ate when you're younger worked for you when you were younger, but what you're gonna eat now needs to change and it needs to be adjusted for this phase of your life. I promise you, you never need to go hungry. You can still eat your favorite treats, but you do need to adapt your diet because if your diet is what it's always been, or you're having a lot of processed foods in your diet, like crisps, cookies, cheva, gatia, if you're having a lot of savory sweet snacks, it is going to be causing you to be stuck on the weight loss plateau. And you've got to be honest with yourself because often people will say I'm eating really healthily, but these treats, they're in larger portions than you realize. Um, another reason that you might be stuck on the weight loss plateau is lack of activity. You're not walking enough or you're not exercising and you find that you might do it occasionally and you think you're doing it more often than you actually are. With activity, you've got to be consistent with it and you've got to come out of your comfort zone as well. As I mentioned earlier, one of the reasons we are getting stuck on that plateau is our muscle mass begins to decrease and we find that it's affecting our metabolism. So with your activity, with your exercise, you do need to make sure you are doing some strength training, some resistance training to build muscle because this naturally declines as we grow older. Another reason you might be finding yourself stuck on the weight loss plateau is because of stress. Most people do not even think about stress as being a cause of their weight gain or being stuck on the weight loss plateau. Stress is affecting so many different hormones. Yes, we know it affects cortisol, but that has a knock-on effect on many other hormones, including insulin. And it will also have an impact on your moods, which means you're then craving foods and turning to foods for comfort because you want to feel good. So just think about you know, how stressed you are right now and how you can begin to manage your stress levels so you can lose the weight. Now, the reason you might be finding that you're stuck on the weight loss plateau is because of lack of sleep. Now, many people just think, I don't need much sleep. I can survive without much sleep. I'm too busy. I don't have enough time to get to sleep early enough or you know, to wake up a little bit later. And you're constantly, again, on the go and not getting the rest that your body needs. Sleep does, again, affect your hormones and that has a knock-on effect on your weight as well. So sleep is really important. It is really essential you begin to address your sleep. Now, there are other reasons which include health conditions that you might have. Maybe you've got hormonal um, imbalances, um, things like 
hypothyroidism or PCOS, maybe you're type 1 diabetic, maybe you have other medications that you're taking um, for these health conditions and that might be causing the weight gain as well and being stuck on the weight loss plateau. So these are some of the reasons why you get stuck on the plateau and it's usually more than one reason. It will never be just your diet or just that you're not active. It will be a combination of different things which is why when we look at the solution and what you need to do we need to come and you know address this through different ways it cannot just be addressing it by saying i'm going to stop eating sugar or i'm going to walk 10000 steps a day that is not the solution you need to have many different solutions come together and you've got to be consistent with what you're doing as well so it's really important you learn what to do and it's important that you do this so you're able to maintain it because if you're only able to do this for a couple of weeks or a month you're going to find when you stop the weight is going to come right back on so your habits are really key your daily routines really matter and it's important that you address this right now because if you don't do anything about it guess what will happen over time things just get worse this spiral and spiral downwards and you gain more weight which might then lead on to other health conditions so get started right now i'm going to tell you the best solution is it is to get started by learning the basics you've got to learn about what to do how to do it and when to do it as well you might think do i need to really learn i know what to do how difficult can it be answer honestly how long have you been trying to get healthier or to lose weight for is it more than a month if it's more than a month and you haven't seen results it's probably because you're not doing the right thing or you might not know what the right thing is or you're being really inconsistent or you're lacking motivation so you've got to then join a program and learn what to do we always think about learning when it comes to things like learning how to drive a car or learning how to play an instrument like the piano or the guitar but do we think about learning when it comes to our health most people don't especially the busy women they often think i'll just get to it at some point and do it when i can you've got to prioritize your health because if you don't learn and do it right now and that weight keeps coming on i hate to say it but you're at a higher risk of being overweight or obese with many chronic conditions including type 2 diabetes high blood high blood pressure high cholesterol even certain types of cancer so come and learn in my program where i'd love to teach you this is where we have a lot of fun putting into practice what you're learning in the wellness membership program i'm going to be sharing with you recipes i've got in the program suggested meal planners but i also teach you how to meal plan i'm going to be taking you step by step through all the different lessons that you need on what to do to get health here and maintain it we look at sleep we look at managing stress we look at portion sizes we look at how to get active without needing a gym membership so everything that you need is in this program and for a very limited time there is a special bonus and you also get almost 70% off program so don't leave it for too late come and join me let's get started come and create healthy habits so you can feel fabulous within yourself too see you on the other side in the program and of course if you do have any questions send me a message